Magical season continues tonight for Halls. The Red Devils, who had just two wins last season, off to a 4-0 start here in 2023. Great start for yeah. them, Bo. But tonight, they face off against Carter, who has won three straight, scoring over 40 points per game in that stretch. Amari Lefko coming off a three-touchdown performance against Hardin Valley. Early in the first quarter, Hall's going to be up 7-0. Carter driving down the field. Isaiah Monday heaving this one towards the end zone, finding Gabe Dennis, who had to climb the ladder to get Hall in the touchdown, tied up at 7. The very next drive for Hall's, Amari Lefko put some air under this one, finding Trey Scats down the field, drops one tackle with the spin move. Look at that. And off to the house, he goes 64 yards to make it 14 to 7 Halls. Late in the second quarter, Halls going to be marching down the field. Lefko dumps it off to Cameron Bates. Big night to him, who gets the Red Devils into the red zone. We got several plays later. After that, Amari Lefko going to be back up, checks it down to Brody Rogers, who dies for it in the end zone, making it 28 to 7. Halls at the half. It was all Red Devils tonight and the Hornets Nest winning this one 42 to 7 and moving to 5 and 0 on the season. Here at Carter High School where the Halls Red Devils just made a statement win moving to 5 and 0 over the Carter Hornets. I'm joined now by head coach Brent Hughes. Coach, what does it mean for your boys to win a game like this? I mean, it, it was the next one. All week we talk about we're going to take it one game at a time. We want to be 1 and 0. And that's what our kids did. They came out we're the more aggressive team. We're the more physical team. We did the things that we needed to do to execute and score. And defensively, I can't say enough. So we just did. We came out here in the, with the mindset we wanted to be 1-0. And I couldn't be more proud of them. Now, talk to me a little bit about Cameron Bates. He had himself a game tonight, a, cup, a touchdown or two, I believe. What does he bring to the team? He's just a, he's an inspiration. He's a young man that leads by example. He's a young man that does everything the right way. And I just couldn't be more proud of his success these first five games. Now coming into the game, Carter, you know, they've won four or three straight coming into tonight. You guys 4-0. and oh. What was the game plan coming into the game? We, we came in to, to win. We need to be the more physical team, be the win special teams, win all three phases of the game, tackle. You know, the first quarter it was a little sloppy, but we settled in. Once we settled in, everything was fine. At the end of the day, you know, our kids, we're a good football team. And they got to continue to have that mindset. Now, you were talking in the huddle just a second ago. You got the Powell Panthers next week. What are your thoughts going into next week, and, and how are you wanting your team to prepare? I don't do no 24. I'm ready. I'm ready to. I'm ready for Powell right now. You know, and uh, Matt Lowe. <laughs> I can't say enough about that man. He is one of the best coaches in in the state of Tennessee, and he has a very good football team. And so it's going to be a huge challenge for us. It's a rival game, but we got to start holding up our end of the actual rival. But it's a, our first region game, which is the most important thing. So it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough task. But at the same time, I'm excited about the opportunity. Coach, great win. Thank you for your time. Right, thank you. No problem. Like I said, Hall is taking home the win 42-7 to here over Carter. They move to 5-0 and on the year, and they're looking forward to taking on the Powell Panthers next week. Reporting from Carter High School, I'm Dominic Webster. Thanks, Dom. Coach, he is so hyped up. He's ready to play two games tonight.